Hello, everybody. Jared back again, and welcome to another episode of NHL 21 Franchise Mode with your Seattle Wizards. All right, guys, let's jump into it. So end of last episode, we had gone through the entire inaugural seasons of the Wizards here. And uh, surprise, surprise, I guess, depending on how you look at it, we uh, got ourselves to the postseason quite solidly in the postseason, to be completely honest, a half decent season. I do not expect us to do well. If we do do well, that'll just be insane and, you know, not really up to us. This isn't really my team yet. But I mean, if we win, we win, right? Um, We have multiple Seattle players that are ready to be dressed. Who knew that there were people that weren't dressed? Um, I think Nate Thompson, you are not part of it. Wow, we have a bunch of people that really shouldn't be on here right now, don't we? Let's take a look at our scratched uh, Eberly and oh, OK, yeah, yeah. But Dustin Brown is injured, but not ready to come back in. No, 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 no. There we go. Now Dustin Brown's ready to come back in. OK, Um. so I think that we are putting just a second here. Blaze is up there. So Shaw needs to be here. Blaze goes here. So Thompson, you're going away for Eberly. Get Everly in there, and then Nick Paul. No, 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 no. There we go. Nick Paul, you come over here, my friend. And we're putting in Dustin Brown down here. Now, what I might do. No, that doesn't really change anything. So we're going to leave Dustin Brown down there. Mr. Phillips here, you're going to be sitting up there on that first, second line as a depth forward that's a an interesting spot for him to be he actually doesn't like it anywhere on this team to be completely honest but he sucks defensively so i'm not going to put him farther down um what if i did this oh that is actually a little bit better there you go sammy blaze hopefully he does a little bit better up there um okay continuing to move along there might have been some defense that i need to move along but i don't think so all right let's see if edmonton wins both these games they win both these games not going to worry too too much about it no we live to see another day we are down three to two, though, so it's kind of last uh, legs here. And there we go. Knocked out in the first round. Kind of the best situation for us. I would prefer, obviously, to get the highest draft pick possible. So let's go see where we get up to here. Uh, Seattle player Dennis Giryanov has returned to the lineup. Uh, you know what? For right now, I'm just going to say best roster. I'm not too, too worried about who goes where. Um, viewing the draft class. Yeah, let's look at one more viewing of the draft class. Cause we are going to be sitting right. I forgot Luke Hughes is up here somewhere. We already know kind of who these players are. So I'm not too worried about them not being fully elitely scouted. Now we're going to be sitting probably somewhere in this range down here. So we have kind of an Andre Jenner here. That could be an interesting person to go for three year ETA for a, Hmm. But he's a two way forward. Not a huge fan of that. Um, we're already being scouted there, so we're not going to do anything there. We also have Wallstead. I think we might be going for Jasper Wallstead with our first overall pick here, guys. I do believe that to be the case. Now, let's just see. We don't have a huge amount of time for scouting, but there uh, there may be somebody out in the uh, wild there that has not been fully scouted. We already got somebody out there for Dean there. Uh, everybody else here is fully scouted. You're 12. Let's see if there's any uh, hidden gems around here. You're a real player. You're also a real player. We're not going to go for real players. Going down into low elites. You're already being scouted. You're already being scouted. I think that we can probably leave everybody else alone here. Let's just go into the draft the way we go. Uh, best lines. Thank you very much, Gary Onoff. All right. Get up here, Sim. Let's go. Tampa Bay Lightning, we go, they go back to back. That is pretty crazy. Well done, Tampa Bay. They're a stacked team, obviously shows off their stuff. That's awesome to see. Okay, um, so uh, Los Angeles gets themselves all the way up to first. The Vegas Golden Knights got all the way down in there as well. That kind of sucks. Uh, so obviously we are not in the top 15 here. We'll have to see where we land in the actual spot here. Go view draft class. Uh, no, I don't need to view the draft class. What am I talking about? I need to view finishing off, finishing off, finishing off, view retired players. 
any big names that we were not expecting? Hosa, obviously. Zetterberg. Uh, so obviously Hosa and Zetterberg are just on the uh, long term injured reserve. Gabrick as well. So all three of those guys really are not crazy big names. Oh, Stahl, brother. Mark Stahl calls it quits at only 34. Wow. Was he still able to play? Not really. Uh, anybody else of warrant to look at? Not particularly. Let's take a look at goalies. Usually no goalies of anything big retire. Victor Fasht. I mean, he did get the, you know, 64 games played. That's pretty awesome. Jeff Glass. <laughs> Been a while since I heard that name. All right. Uh, did we lose any uh, coaches? I'm trying to remember where we. Uh, was it in no Burnaby and no um words no Burnaby and no Seattle there we go all right um today is the connecting pre interview with prospects all right let's uh let's view the draft class let's see where we line up um can I see the draft board where is the oh no that's my draft board sorry I want to see where where are we in the draft pick can i see that before i go in here can i stop simulating can we still go yes we still can go to draft interviews um does it show me on what where, where do i where can i see where my uh pick is can i not see my pick anywhere That seems extremely interesting. I want to see where my pick is. Will it show me here? No, it will not. Very, very interesting. Well, I know that I am somewhere in. We can always just move up for him. I think I'm going to be going for Wallstead. And we should be roughly in the range. I don't need to scout Wallstead at all to be completely honest so let's see if there's any potentials in the future that i really want to see such as this guy let's uh let's give him a well we actually have to be in the interview here sorry guys got myself a little bit uh in the wrong pages there let's see if there's anybody that we really want to interview i don't particularly care we know what luke hughes is i'm not going to trade all the way up for luke hughes i don't think i do want to see what you are so let's uh give you an interview uh, skills. Let's see what we got. Zach Dean. I mean, he has a real player. Um, I want to see what your strengths are. Skating, weaknesses. Uh, your defensiveness. Let's do new topic. All right. Um, play style, personality. Let's do play style. Um, let's do readiness. So we now know what his type is. He's still a few years away. There we go. We'll see how that has impacted our uh, scouting of this guy. I obviously don't think he was going to be a high elite. Uh, we defense strength is. As you guys saw, uh, we still do not have any more ticks in there. OK, fine. All right, anybody else that seems like they could be a snag again? You're just a real player. I'm not going to go for you. This guy, again, real player. I'm not going to worry about any real players. Uh, so we're looking at low elites here. Let's try an 18-year-old Robertson. Maybe both these guys. If we have the ability to uh, entry players, let's actually just do it. So skills. Come on. I wish there'd be a way for you to uh, jump through this a little bit. All right. Oh, shoot. Did I just say what your greatest strength is again? All right. Um, new topic. I think of asked for his, his uh, strength twice there. Um, let's do play style once again. I think I just did uh, play style twice. Great. So he's obviously a two way two way player. I don't think that will have a bumped up anything for him per se. Two way forward is not someone I'm looking for anyway. Yep, still a little elite. How about any of these top sixes? There are a few of these guys. This is another two way forward. we got a playmaker here at 24. Could be an interesting person to grab. Henrik Zetterberg. Um, this guy, let's pin him first and foremost, and then let's get see if we can get, although he is a two way forward. Is there anybody not two way? 
This guy's a sniper. He's real though. To a or at least possible uh, sniper. Let's. Ah, we'll just uh, we'll watch for those guys in the draft. It doesn't particularly matter what they are, to be completely honest. This guy is a gem, so probably someone that we should pick up if we can. Uh, DFD. I mean, not really. Low DFD to a medium starter. You know what? Nah, I'm getting out of here. We don't need to do any more of these guys. It's fine. Let's just advance the day and get ourselves into the draft. Okay. So, I still think that getting ourselves a goalie of the future would not be a bad idea. However, both of these guys are willing to give up their picks. Where did we uh, actually end up here? Um, 19th. So, if I go to the draft class here, do we potentially want to move ourselves up? So, we could get ourselves an Ovechkin or a Luke Hughes. Now, we had Luke Hughes last time around, so I probably don't need to go for it this time. Uh, you are 2AD. Shoot, Psych, like Zdeno Chara, you're a big boy. You are 2A forward, so I'm not overly interested in either of those guys. Um, we got ourselves a high top six up here. Two years. I think that sticking around and just grabbing ourselves... Wallstead is looking like he's going to go in that 19th slot if we don't get Wallstead. So I could look at moving up just a little bit to make sure that we do get Wallstead. He's one year out, like Roberto Luongo. I think this is kind of a no-brainer. So let's get ourselves hmm, 13, 14, 15. All right, let's see. Okay, just a second. So we have the 19th pick. I'm feeling a little bit nervous about leaving it for there. So I think I'm going to try and just and trade up to the 18th pick. I'm just a little bit concerned that that's going to go away. I don't want to lose out on him. So let's grab uh, throwing in our first round and something else they want that I don't care about giving up. Possibly something uh, down here. Uh, you guys want this guy. Uh, we don't have him extended. Let's see if that is enough to push this over. Trade accepted. Go for it. All right, let's just uh, let's uh, let's sim all the way up. Do not take him. Oh, thank goodness. And go back through and see what this all looks like. Usually I'd like to do it one at a time, but that's fine. Oh, look at this guy. Luke Hughes also dropped off as an OFD. But oh, man, Ratty being the high elite always makes him go first. But look at this guy. Two way forward. He's already a third line checker. Look at those defensive stats. He's list listed as a left winger with 80 face off already. That's amazing. Wow. Overall, this guy is an absolute stud. Well done, L.A. And uh, Luke Hughes probably gets a little bit uh, jumped over there. Those high those high top sixes really uh, get taken early. Um, Ovechkin was a two AD 72 overall. There we go. Uh, Gunther, obviously, is that leading medium elite there. Lambos. Roy is a high. Yeah, all of the uh, main guys there. Uh, Panili goes uh, to Vancouver. Harrison. Very cool. All right. So we are left alone to pick Jesper Wallstead here. Thank you very much. Goalie of the future. Going to be awesome for us. Already 75 overall. Looking forward to it. All right. Um, let's take a quick look at the other draft class. See if there's anybody we want to trade up for. We have two seconds that I could package together for something else. Let's see if there is anybody that really pops out. We do have a potential power forward here. Hard wrist shot character. We don't know a lot about him. He still has four years left. So not something that I'm really horribly thinking we need. Um, I think we do want... We want something in the 43 to 44 range. Let's just get ourselves sim options. Um, okay, so we have the 47th. So let's sim to next round. Okay, so if we have the 47th, I want to pop up quite a few spots here. So that is us right there, the 22nd. Let's pop up to like, say, oh, we have the 15th as well. Wait, what? Okay, um, let's pop up to the 10th. 
That'll do the 42nd. Wait a second. Okay, just a second. Just a second. Viewing the draft class. Who was it that I wanted? Where are you? You are right here. Looking to go in 44. So if we go up to the 42nd, which is also this two-way forward. Fairly small dude. Similar to Marion Gabrick. It's probably a top nine looking at where he's going, though. I want uh, Lou Nickel. I do want Lou Nickel. So let's try and get ourselves up to the 42nd overall. So that's the 10th. Yeah. All right. So let's uh, go for the 10th. See what it'll take to get there. The Ducks. Um, will you guys? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. 42nd for the we have a couple seconds here let's see if we can package together this 54th and something else that they want maybe something undrafted do we have anything undrafted that i don't care to lose got a few of these guys let's throw both of these bottom sixes in here and see if that's enough to push it over rejected Okay, there was the other bottom six that had a little bit more potential here. You know what? How about if we throw all these bottom sixes in? Is that going to be enough to throw it over? I can always throw in a late pick. Accept it. Okay, great. Cool, cool, cool. Got rid, of, got rid of some garbage. And we're able to get up to where we want to. Do not go beforehand. Ooh, there's a top six. There's a few top sixes here. So top sixes are still going. So that is good to know. Um, we are going to be going, okay, you know, if top sixes are still going, but I don't really want a two-way forward, do I? I mean, if he's a bottom three guy, you know what, let's, uh, let's take a chance on him. Top six. Well, okay, fine. And then we are going to move our next pick up here. So this is the 43rd. We're taking the, let's try the, well, yeah, I mean, 51st, it doesn't particularly matter. You're going to take the 51st. Is there any other garbage that I want to get away? What about goalies? Any garbage goalies? Uh, we have a medium elite, obviously. So no garbage goalies. Uh, why am I doing that? Uh, let's do forwards first. I know we're fine on defensemen. We just picked you up. Anything down on the bottom? There is this friend. There's no way that they actually want this guy, is there? Nope. Let's try and get rid of him anyway. Um, how about draft picks? You guys can have my seventh from this round. Rejected. Now, actually, what it might do, seventh... Get rid of this. Nope. Okay. Instead of the seven, let's add in the six. Come on. Really? All right. I'm willing to go for the fifth then here. Uh, you can even have my fifth. There we go. Love to see it. Let's make that pick. All right. That's going to grab us our defenseman here. Let's go, Lou Nickel. Thank you very much, my friend. 62 overall, medium top four, two-way defenseman. Oh, man, did he drop? Or was he always a two-way D? I think he was always a two-way D. I just wasn't paying attention. Um, not terrible starting stats all the way around, which is lovely to see. Let's just get ourselves up to the next pick. I'm not going to uh, shop around too, too much. We're still getting some top fours, top sixes, top nines all over the place. We got ourselves a low top four here. We have a potential sniper that is, has the potential to be a top six there. We also have a... He's not going to be medium elite. He is a sniper, though. So he really can only go down to top nine. And seeing as there's top sixes coming out, I'm going to go for Francisco here. I highly doubt he's going to be top six. Yeah, top nine. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, well. I made my choice. There was always a chance. All right, moving on here. Who do we got in this realm? Top nine, this is in the 80s. Anything I've uh, pinned or grabbed in a relative area here. We have a low elite potential here. He is a created player. Two-way forward, though. Bottom six. Got ourselves a starter all the way down here. I think that 
Taking a shot on this guy probably makes the most sense. Jack Cam, great name, low top nine. Yep, I knew it. Hey, you gotta you gotta take those gambles, right? Gotta take those gambles. All right, I think from here on out, I'm going to go by. Yeah, you're definitely not going to be a medium elite. Um, go by with the potential here and uh, just grab who has the best potential in the bunch. We've got a possible top six here. Go with that. Ooh, actually, that is not a bad pickup. A top six potential. Even if he busts, he should be some pretty good value for the next few rounds. All right, let's see. We got ourselves a medium top two. You're real and a low low elite potential so let's try jacob here all these low elites two ticks are all turning into low top nines unfortunately which does suck i'll probably go for a few goalies here late rounds it's always kind of nice to grab some goalies let's see what we got um we have a medium top six at 199 a sniper you are you know what let's try again he's going to be a top nine Bottom six, not even a top nine. Yikes, dudes. All right, I, I swear to God, I am going to go for a goalie this time. All right, <laughs> let's see. Are there any uh, potential starters here? Uh, only the one, only the one medium starter. OK, well, I guess you're who I'm going for. Our uh, our scouts need to get a little bit better. You're real. He's probably not going to be a starter. He's probably going to be a backup, isn't he? Yep, backup. All right, I think this is our last pick of the draft round seven. Yep, I didn't actually uh, I wasn't able to get rid of this pick. Looks like there's absolutely nobody that are scouted in this range. We have a potential grinder here. Sure. Last pick. You're probably going to be garbage anyway. Low bottom six power forward. But hey, you know what? I'm not going to uh, worry too, too much about it. All right, let's see what we've got in our contracts. I'm pretty excited about I'm pretty excited about Wallstead there. That is a fantastic pickup. He's obviously going to be the goalie of the future, and I am absolutely looking forward to it. Let's go to the resign phase. Um, see who we have to throw some contracts at. We've got the majority of our big boys signed, if I recall correctly. Let's uh, go to all expiring. We do have Carlson here, who I think jumped up a little bit. You want a big boy contract? Um, just a second here, guys. I'm just going to get my calculator out. Don't feel too terrible about giving this guy a contract. Before I do, though, what do you look like? You're a left D. Defensive defenseman, 83, 91, 91. Hell yeah, bro. That is a fantastic um, bottom six contract. All right, so uh, 1.9 times 0.85 equals 1625. I am uh, not going to sneeze at that contract at all. Nick Paul, I mean, if he wants a very, very low end contract, that uh, power forward stat's not bad. He doesn't have great. Ah, man, what do you want a two way or do you want a one way? He wants a one way and he wants a real live deal. I'm going to see how much money I have left over. Uh, Capablanco. Kyle Capablanco, minor top 2D, two-way defender. Not bad uh, defensive stats, though. Let's see what he wants. He wants a one-way. Do you want to come back? You do. Um, what if I gave you... So he actually wants real money as it goes up. We're going to say 900000 for one year. Uh, Dolstrom... I'm just going to release this guy. Phillips is a low top 6. Are you looking for a two-way? Absolutely come back for that, Phillips. He actually didn't do too terrible for us uh nate thompson i'm gonna release uh you going to see if he wants a two-way come back heifer uh roy if he wants to come back for a low contract he does well done uh chechiaf i think this is his entry level contract actually um yeah i mean absolutely if you can grow into that low a medium bottom six or medium top six role that would be absolutely fantastic we've got a few guys here that i'm uh liking the look of here all right what else do we have left here uh nason yeah medium top six you've got the potential to keep on coming we also need some ringers down here anyway so giving these guys some ringer contracts is not too shabby jonathan deline sure he's still at that he still has that low top six potential 
used to be such a potential stud in real life. All right, Lugfist, you didn't get traded, dude, but we are going to release you. All right, so let's uh, clean those guys up. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. After after we clean a little bit, let's uh, see who will all say no and yes there. I also want to see goalies. Um, Sunderstrom. So I don't think we need him anymore. I'm going to hold on to him anyway. But I think if I were to, yeah, yeah, we shouldn't need him anymore. Carlson does want to come back, but he wasn't wanting the low end I was giving him. So let's try one seven. Uh, Nick Paul. How much more money do we have left over cat space? A decent amount. I mean, he's not terrible as a ringer. Let's uh, if he comes back for one, two, five, I won't say no. You are definitely out of here, though. I missed you. All right, let's see if everybody accepts those contracts. You're interested in per OK. Both of you guys said yes. Will you just uh, take this and run, dude? That is a great contract, my friend. Let's also um, see unsigned. There's going to be some people that we probably want to grab. Um, we can probably get this guy playing. Where do you play? I believe that is in Europe somewhere. You're a sniper. I'll probably leave him off contract for one more year. In fact, I'm going to leave all of these guys off contract. Yeah, all of those guys are off contract. The only other guy I want to grab is our goalie here. Uh, wait, uh, you are in the O though, right? No, you're also in Europe. So let's get him over here. He can be the starter. Let's see if he'll accept that for a little bit lower. 18 years old. Now, I could leave him off contract, see how he grows. But too late now. I've already offered. All right, let's see if everybody gets over here. Um, You said it's an easy decision, but signing will be good for you. I think that is everybody. Yes, I do believe um, there's going to be no more expiring in either skaters or forwards, and that was the only contract I needed to sign. Absolutely glorious. Let's sim to free agency and uh, see what we got there and get ourselves into the first wave here. So we're going to want to see, is there anybody I want to grab? First off, let's just see who's in free agency. O'Reilly, sorry, not O'Reilly, just Riley. Got Forsberg here. That could be an interesting way to spend our money for a little while. I'm also thinking, though, that... Hmm. We are going to need to spend a little bit of money. Well, we don't really. I wouldn't mind sucking again. Not again. I wouldn't mind sucking for the first time, to be completely honest. There's nobody we really have in our forward group that I'm like concerned about right now. So just a second. Let's 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 see what we got here. Let's see what we got. So if I'm looking um, at my forward core here, I'm looking at. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five. Let's go overalls here. Um, so that's our first line. That's our second line. That's our third line and then our fourth line. Yeah, we're we're basically set. There's no one here that's really looking to jump up. I'm not horrified at what we've got. The only thing I could really see us doing is possibly grabbing ourselves a winger for the second line or I guess a winger for. Well, no, Declare actually wants to be on that second line. I'm assuming so does Blaze. No, Blaze is still saying he's a third liner, but all these guys are going to say second line. So I think we are basically just stuck with what we got right now. Now, I could trade Jordan Eberle at some point this year. He still has a little bit of time left on that contract. I think he will be a fairly fine doofer. I don't want to be great. Now, the problem is this team might make us great. Which would kind of suck. OK, but I think that I'm not going to spend the salary that we need to. I could grab somebody big and then tank at the at the uh, deadline. That's something else we could do is use that value or trade Eberly anyway. So grab someone that can be a replacement in the future for a few years, such as Forsberg here. Two way forward, half decent offensive stats there. 
He doesn't fit any of my line schemes, though. I could also grab someone maybe like Tatar. I could even go for Hall. He's a sniper. Um, he doesn't... I mean, he. I think he would fit our scheme. Um, he wants seven years at nine. But I could grab him for one year at like 12. That could be something else I go for. There's also Seth Jones here to kind of like even out our defensemen there. I didn't see it, didn't take a quick look at what we had for defense, but that's my fault. So let's take one more quick look at what we're holding on to here. Sorry that I'm going through multiple menus constantly. I could have just done it once. All right, defensemen. All right, um, taking a look at what we got here. We have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. We probably actually have to trade a defenseman. And Manson's probably the piece that we trade. Although he's on a really good contract. Possibly Mete. Because we're going to have to sign him after this year. I'm just taking a look at uh, who we got coming up. Because I think Healy is probably going to be ready at some point this season. He's looking pretty good. And Carlson, defensive defenseman. We just signed to that good contract. We'll, we'll have to see once the ceiling comes. We're on. We, we've uh, we've passed our. You can see on the little red yellow line there. We've passed our lower ceiling. The bed of our contract here of our. Um, oh gosh, guys, the salary cap. We've passed the salary cap. Let's just look at two A. See if there's anybody here that we can grab for our AHL. Um, Stanley, absolutely, as a low top. Let's see if I can uh, max these guys out. Come for a few years, dude. Uh, no pick required. Sure, absolutely. You're 25. Not going to go for you. Top nines. There's really not a lot here, is there? Um, we'll grab McLeod if we can. Wow, McLeod's actually still here. That's pretty crazy. All right, let's try and get him for as long as we can. If they say no, they say no. 9.5. Let's get you for three years. There you go. Hold. You guys can hold down the fort for a little while. I don't really want more top nines. Those three might be all that we grab. Is there any goalies? Medium starter. That's who we had, isn't he? Oh, never mind. It was somebody else we had. Um, I've, I've had him in the past. That's all. I don't think we really need any of these guys. OK, well, those are the, the only um, free agents that we go for. We're not really going to grab anybody. If they say no, they say no. Um, you're interested. You're interested. You're interested. Perfect. All right, let's see what we got. See who uh, does not make the cut and maybe on the chopping block, if not now, potentially down the line. I really could have used my money to like grab a giant free agent, played him for a little while and then traded him away. But I just I feel like that's a little bit cheap, a little bit uh, cheese in the system. But just like, you know, grab grab Taylor Hall, sign him for one year, hold on to the contract like half of it and then sell him for a first. Not a great look, to be completely honest, so not going to do it. OK, editing the lines. Let's see what we got here. Uh, seems pretty good. Gurionov. Ooh, looks like Sammy Blaze jumped up there. That is absolutely fantastic. As that playmaker, can I do this? Declare at 26 is not as good, in my opinion, as that. That's not going to do it. Sammy Blaze up here isn't going to make that better. That makes that better. That also makes that better. You are a left wing, right wing. You are just a left wing. So let's throw this over here. That makes that worse. And uh, Dustin Brown, you kept you held on to your uh, stats there. I love to see it there, dude. You're left wing, right wing. You are right wing, left wing. So let's do that. Perfect. Basically, the exactly the same team that we were putting on the ice last year. Now we need to fix this up just a wee bit. Man, oh man, oh man. Chris Tanev, are you regressing a little bit there, my friend? At 31, he shouldn't. Let's try that. Bears saying top four. Top four. 
Are we all saying top four? No, you're saying top six. Well. Just seeing if I can get this better anywhere. Not really. So I'm not a huge fan of where this is all sitting us. Definitely not going there. I mean, sure. I could leave it as so, and then throw bear on the power play at the very least. Let's see who's scratched. So Cal foot two way defender. All right, so we'd be looking at uh, getting rid of most likely cow foot. I think one defenseman has to go. One defenseman definitely has to go. We need to make some room for some players that are coming up. Healy, you are top six for uh, defenseman, so he's already coming up. So we're actually looking at two defensemen going away because Capablanco, I think that he's going to be coming up as our depth. He'd be great depth, actually. Okay, you know what? We need to get both Healy and Capablanco up here. Let's actually just do it right now. Uh, go to roster moves. Uh, we want to be in the system. Healy. Take a look at Phillips here. What are you, Phillips? Depth. Playmaker. Not too great. Uh, Kemfer. Pretty good two-way forward, actually. Fourth line. We're going to leave you down there right now. All right, let's grab those guys. And Roy, what are you listed at? You're an offensive defenseman, you're, but you're set as a minor. He actually has some pretty decent defensive stats for being an offensive defenseman. Hopefully he just, uh, you know, rocks it up down there in the A. All right, and now we're in the NHL. I'm throwing down. I think the cow foot as a two-way, I'm going to have to see. I'm going to throw down four right now, Cal Foot and Okay, Mete is also a two way, so I kind of want to hold on to Mete. Bear has an OFD. I'm not going to hold on to. Carlson as a defensive defenseman, I am going to hold on to. I think that Foot and Mete are two young guns. Also, did I not hold on to the other two? I did. Okay. Those two up, those two down. Edit lines. Let's see. No, not extras. There we go. Defenseman. I want in here right now. Healy. Let's see if we can make this better anywhere. There we go. Ethan Bear with Pese, Manson Tanev. Everybody else is great. What if I did this? Nope. We're going to hold it as so. Cool. Uh, you want to be right. You want to be right. Right. <laughs> Well, at least we've got a few lefties. And that does not solve anything. Ooh, it, what it does do, though, is that. No. There we go, Chris. All right, we're, gonna, we're, we're, hold, we're holding steady. That's what we're holding with. Uh, at some point, Healy is going to jump up anyway. I think we're good to go. Now, what I could see is um, back to edit lines. You guys are going to be want to be best lined. Right, Mete is down here. We're going to be moving you guys shortly anyway. All right, let's see in offense. Keffer. Right, Beret. Forgot about this dude. Uh, racking it up there. Drury's doing pretty well. McLeod's already down here. We already looked at Phillips as a playmaker. Yeah, okay, cool. Where everything is good there. Let's call that done. Um, let's immediately before they lose any trade value, let's just see who we're getting rid of on the defense here and who we can grab instead. So looking at defense, not right wingers, defense, please. 
bear. So basically they all have exactly the same potential right now. Um, what I'm going to do is grab both of these guys. Sorry, guys, my controller is running low on batteries. Get over here, guys. Get up. Get, get over here. There we go. Okay. Um, okay. Grabbing about both of you guys. Let's see who wants both of them. You want both of them. You don't have the finances for it. Exempt contracts. You have the finances and I want somebody. Status of a buyer. You're a seller. You want both and you're a seller. You know what, LA? I'm going to give both of these guys to you. Do you have somebody with a little bit of potential that I wouldn't mind taking back? Not particular. They have this guy. Ron, he's 19 years old. Two-way, he does both left and right, and his defensive stats are actually in a pretty good spot. So maybe I will pick up this guy. They don't want to get rid of him. They actually have to hand me over something else as well. Um, they also have this guy, 20 years old, 18 year old. Medium top four. You know what? Let's do a trade, a trade of defensive defenseman for defenseman. So we're trading away. Oh, I mean, but cow foot. He's not that great defensively. He's already 22 years old. He's not, he's going to be too good. Mm -hmm -hmm. Already 80 overall. Yeah, no, I'm doing it. I'm just looking at his contract. His contract is so good. But we don't actually need it. We don't need to worry about the contract right now. Let's see if we can sneak in a pick of some kind with these guys. We'll probably won't be able to, but we're going to try anyway. Um, can you give me a second? I mean, a third here. Let's see if they'll say yes. They're saying rejecting. I don't think they're even going to say yes. Oh, they will. All right. I think that's fairly even. Go to roster moves. I think we're good for roster moves. We're just doing edit lines. All right, Victor Mete, we're all mad about losing him. I'm sorry, guys. You guys, can you guys just best lines down here? I think that, that will have fixed our defensive problems there. Absolutely. There we go. We're looking fantastic. Let's see if there's anybody in scratch that we don't want. This guy got up to a 74 overall. He might be actually worth something. Um, let's take a look at our... Nope. Goalies, make sure we're in the right spot here. So we have Ian Scott. So the other thing I could be thinking about doing is possibly trading Ian Scott because I want Wallstead to play. On that note, I think we are going to do that. Let's see if anybody wants to take a shot at Ian Scott. Uh, Demko has uh, got himself a little bit better up to an 83 overall, which is lovely. He's going to be able to hold down the fort for a little while. Oh, no, don't go away, Jared. Good gosh. There we go. All right, we're going to trade away Ian Scott. I knew there was a problem with me signing that goalie. Not the new goalie, the old goalie. Jari, Demko, Wallstead. Nobody really wants him. But I think it is a necessary move. You guys do want him. You guys also want him. Will you be able to give me something in return? Are you going to say you have too many goalies? There's a question I have to ask myself. Ooh, look at them. Enric Lundqvist, really? Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, let's uh, see if they will be able to take on this contract. Let's try and get a third. I don't think this is going to go through. Uh, we may be able to throw in uh, some garbage picks here. Let's see what we got garbage wise. Um, two low bottom sixes. Rejected. Probably gonna have to grab some uh, lower stuff with that. Um, just pure. All this garbage. Really? 
Not even that low top nine, you say? You say, you say. How about this low top nine, that medium top nine, and that low top nine? Give me that third. No. There we go. Thank you very much, Ian Scott. I'm sorry about all the uh, low morale there, guys. Let's sim up to the regular season, see how everybody looks with their, you know, real life scoutedness. Uh, we are going to have to go and see. Yeah, now we're just going to get ourselves up there. There really isn't going to be that much when it comes to coaches and whatnot on the market. But let's just see, actually, before we go anywhere else. Oh, no, we're all the way up there. OK, great. Um, did we get everybody scouted in their actual overalls? Doesn't particularly seem like it. OK, the other thing I really need to do is have declare actually be on the power play and whatnot are you on the power play he is on the power play so he shouldn't be concerned okay great i was a little bit concerned with that okay guys i think on that note i was gonna do coaches but i really don't i'm not gonna worry about it uh this season i think this is one more season where there isn't gonna be a lot of good coaches and we're just gonna leave it as is this isn't even the lineup that i really want i want to be building from the ground up through the draft and through trade, so this a lot of these uh, upper level forwards, all of our top six, are going to be changed in the next few years anyway. So getting ourselves a new coach doesn't really mean anything. But on that note, let me know what you guys think of our opening night roster. Again, oh, Stahl is up to an 87 overall. That's amazing. Uh, love to see it. I think this first line is going to rack up the points this year. To be completely honest, I think they are going to absolutely destroy. I'm quite fond of this uh, bottom four at the very least. Top four, top two, obviously, could use some work. Um, but this bottom four looks pretty awesome, to be completely honest. We got a DFD with an OFD, which is awesome. It should be getting us more than a plus one. It's kind of silly. DFD with a two-way is what it is and then a two no two dfds that's why this does not uh, work too well <laughs> to be completely honest what i'm thinking is probably going to happen is um uh, manson will probably stay there hopefully healy will get himself good enough to come take over Tanev's spot is kind of my hope I'm kind of hoping this will kind of stay the way that it stays and then maybe another dfd or a two way to come play with carlson i kind of want to hold down carlson in this spot for as long as possible he does like that second line a little bit more but i'm hoping with a uh a new coach he should do a little better but on that note i'm gonna leave it there like comment subscribe guys and i will see you in the next episode of nhl 21 franchise mode with your seattle wizards bye everybody Thank you.